So here, question three in the conditional probability section. Uh, this is uh, a bit of a tricky one. And I think the best way to solve that is to just draw a little bit of a probability space. So I'll make this a long one. So here's our space. We're asking students a thousand whether they took maths, physics or chemistry at A level. So let's represent these three events by nice circles. And a third one here. And let this be maths, physics and chemistry. And then let's put in a few numbers. So we know overall there were a thousand students and a hundred of those just took maths. The important thing here is that just, okay, that is not a hundred took maths out of a thousand, but a hundred took maths but no physics and no chemistry. So here in our Venn diagram that 100 goes in here. 70 just took physics, so this is 70. 100 just took chemistry. And then we have 150 who took maths and physics but no chemistry. So maths and physics but no chemistry. That 150 is here. 40 who took maths and chemistry but no physics. So maths and chemistry but no physics. Uh, 40 goes in here. 240 took physics and chemistry but no maths. 200 and 40. So we're almost, we almost know everything there is to know, but for this bit in here, and we call that x, okay, that little area here, that we don't know how many are in there. Now what could that x be if you sum up all the, the numbers which we were given, and they are all mutually exclusive groups, we'll find 700, okay, that means that the x is at most, the x has to be smaller or equal than 300, so it's the number of students who took A-levels in maths, physics and chemistry, but of course there could also be none who did that. So that x is between 0 and 300. Where exactly we don't know. 300 because we have a maximum of a thousand students. Okay. So all num all spaces together should add up to a thousand. Well, we also have the outside value here. So we have 700 plus x plus y will be 1000. But we don't know anything about y either. That is students who neither had a maths, physics, nor chemistry A-level. All right, now with this under our belt, actually solving the questions aren't so difficult. So the first, of those who took maths, what proportion also took physics? So we want the probability or the proportion, we'll have empirical probabilities here, of of those who took maths, so that is conditional on maths, what proportion also took physics but no chemistry, so that's physics and no chemistry, that's what we use with the, uh, with the bar. Actually what we should do is make that green, and so where have we got probably, I oh, well, sh should mark as green is this bit, physics and no chemistry conditional on maths. So conditional on maths means we are looking at that green circle only and then physics but no chemistry. So physics is this bit but no chemistry means only this area. Okay, 
that's what we are interested in. So it is 150 took physics and no chemistry conditional on them taking maths okay because we said of those who took maths okay that's where that conditioning information comes from so what's the probability it's 150 out of how many well out of a hundred plus 40 plus 150 plus X okay here's that X again let me actually make that red okay so we can't actually calculate the the actual value and the second is and what proportion to both physics and chemistry so here we are after the probability of physics and chemistry conditional on maths and let us look at this in, in light blue so the conditioning is still the green but now physics and chemistry now we are interested in this red bit okay or really this is now the red bit so that is x divided by or conditional on maths, everyone who did maths, and that's the same as up here, so that's 100 plus 40 plus 150 plus our red x. Again, we can't really calculate this. So we can already see that we actually we won't be able to to calculate the actual numerical value as long as we don't know what the numbers for x and y are we could have a lot of different combinations of x and y and once we knew what it is we could substitute this in here and calculate the probability so a slightly unsatisfactory yet insightful answer under our belt we'll go to the second part of those who took physics and chemistry, what proportion also took mathematics? So let's write that down first. Now the conditioning information is physics and chemistry, and then what proportion took maths? So physics and physics and chemistry. Let us see where is that? Physics and chemistry. That is this. little area that is really not a good color to do that it's that blue area here okay that is physics and chemistry so we already know that is going to be our denominator and that is 240 plus again our friend the x and what proportion of those took maths? Well, it turns out it is that red area, right? That red area is the area that in intersects with maths. So it's x over 240 plus x. That's the solution. Further, we cannot go.